Bonus set. Bonus set. Bonus set. Welcome to Italia. Now on wing is for my fratello. I think I think he's here. Oh, he made it. How you doing? Fratello, what's up, bro? How you doing? <laughs> I'm blessed, man. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You ready? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm totally ready. All right, we got the Fiat. All right, fiat, let me so. get my bags. <laughs> so is this your car? Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> I say, so do you want or maybe I thought it was going to be a lot colder, but it's not. No, it's kind of okay. It's be for winter. Right. Kind of okay. All right, room number 14. All right. Welcome home. Oh, Wall Street. Yes. So this is the radio hotel here in Italy. Here with me is Michele. He helped me come in. <laughs> so this is well, my room tour. I'll show you the balcony. Do apologize for the lighting, guys. I know you probably can't see too much at night, but this is how it looks in the nightlife. Okay, we have a closet. Or what do we call this, a pantry? And if it gets too warm, they gave me some blankets. I won't be using that because the temperature is actually okay right now. All right, got some smell goods. I'm looking for you, Gideon. I don't see Gideon. Do you know Gideon? I have no idea. What's that? Gideon. Oh, disappointed. The Bible? You Gideon, mean? they don't have the Gideon Bible. Uh, I'm representing and I can't come. I'm sure if they ask in the reception, maybe they do. It's okay, my Bibles are electronic. All right, let's take a, well, I've learned from my tours in Asia, if you see a raised section, don't come in with your shoes. Uh, nobody cares in Italy. <laughs> no one cares? No. <laughs> so we have two toilets. Um, uh, what do we call this, a douche? What, what's the second toilet for? Why does it have a, why does it have a, a faucet? Oh, you're so American right now. I'm very American. Come on, uh, uh, you know, this is called bidet. A bidet? Yeah, that's to clean uh, your ass. <laughs> so, wait, okay, so if I was to sit on this, yeah. it, it's just protruding, it just goes to your butt. That's yeah, it. you have to use uh, more or less your help out with your hands. Hand, oh, I'm not used to that. That's, uh, that's that. That's actually a very important thing uh, because most people they do not clean up themselves. <laughs> You're right. So I guess in the in the U.S. we're dirty booties. So <laughs> yes. And what's this? What is this thing right here? What's this meter? Uh, I think it's the the temperature, and that's it. Okay. All right. Let's see what else back there. Just a regular shower head. It's perfectly fine. Don't need anything else. Hair dryer. Don't need that. Everything's pretty good. Shampoo. All right, this is just a small hotel. Um, I'm not going to tell you the price, but it's it's what I need just for, for the days I'm going to be here. All right, guys, I'll be with you later on until I go outside and we'll show you some more. Buona sera. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, perfectly you hold it. Oh, you just press hold it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 you don't have to hold it. It's an old elevator, but uh, then... Yeah. You're welcome, maybe, after opening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it actually went. <laughs> Alright. 
It smells like smoke in here. Yeah, man. it's written uh, that it's not allowed to smoke. <laughs> Welcome to Italy. So that's what they do? They just sit here and smoke regardless? I don't know. I think uh, if you get bored, you probably don't want to get cold outside. Mm. I mm. mean, it's cold for Italians. Uh, probably it's not cold for people from Washington. Right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, here we are at the objects. The center of Rome. I have a tour guide in Spanish. Doing a nighttime tour. The 19th dynasty pharaoh Seti I quarried this obelisk from granite quarries in Aswan, Egypt. Seti's son and successor, Ramses II, completed its inscriptions and set it up in Heliopolis. It was brought to Rome in 10 BC by command of Augustus. All right, here I am in Italy, guys. And I asked Michele, what is the best pizza in Italy? Okay, this is a type of pizza we do in Rome. It's cut in little uh, slices, and uh, you can try many different types of pizza, and we are gonna go get it inside this bakery. So what do you call it? Forno? Forno, pane cotto, a legna. A legna, okay. Yeah. So when we say, buonasera, <laughs> buonasera. All right. Okay. So I really want to try oh. this. I want to see what's the best pizza. So let's see if he's if he's right. I'm gonna suggest you the the simple one that is over there, the the red one. Okay. It's super good. Then if you want to try something more, everything uh, that looks good, uh, it's also good. Don't worry. It's in this place, right. it's on them. And uh, maybe try a slice of this one, a slice of that one. Do you like it a bit spicy or? Or not spicy? I, I can do spicy. Just a little. Right. And uh, how much do you want to eat? The equivalent to just one pie. What's one pie? This, like, as if it was one, but different things. I guess three different things, but the equivalent of just one pie. So like this? Yes. Okay. All right. So what do we call, do you know the names of these? The one in the back and the one in front? Yeah, I cannot recall the name of that last one. Uh, okay. This one is with uh, lonza, rucola, and uh, probably it's one type of mozzarella that okay. comes from the buffalo. Okay. Buffalo, it's like a big cow. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be my first Italian mukbang, okay? So I definitely want to see how this tastes. Mukbang. Yes. All right. Okay, so the guy here doesn't want me to film, so I won't film, but I will make sure I eat the food portion and film that only, okay? Thank you. All right, guys, here we are. We got our food. So, you said this was spicy? Uh, just a little bit. Just a little. Maybe the one in the center will be more spicy. Okay. But, uh, it's delicious. Alright, so, Michaela says it's delicious, so, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> it's not spicy, but it's... It's tasty. Okay, okay. This one not spicy. We can agree on that. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is a, a light tomato sauce. Yeah. So, I like it. Just a light tomato sauce and no, right. no cheese. And, uh, it's not even vegetables, it's like uh, spices on that. Right. So it's there. So what is this? Is this pork? Uh, it could be pork, but it could be uh, also... Uh, what's the name? Cow. Cow? Or cow. Me? Yeah, it's meat. Alright, let's try it. I can check if it's pork or cow. Mm. Do you love it? Uh, that is the best. That <laughs> you're in love now. I'm in love, love. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's because it is cheese. Yeah, this cheese could be like burrata. Where? How do you say? Burrata. Burrata. Yeah, it's similar to mozzarella, but it's not mozzarella. It's much more soft inside, and uh, you can put it. All right, guys. If you come to this bakery. Definitely try this one. Okay. 
Let's try the next one. Once I'm done with all three, I'll give them a rating. <laughs> Everyone loves a rating. All right. What do you call this one? Uh, this is similar to this one, but with cheese and without tomato sauce. All right, let's see. I took only simple types of pizza, to make you try it for the first time, and then... Uh... Okay, authentic Italian pizza, guys. Mmm. Almost broke a tooth on that one. No, come on. <laughs> the edge is kind of hard. Mm -hmm. I like this one better than this one. I think it has mushrooms. Yeah, exactly. The mushrooms give it a better flavor. So, out of three, one, two, three. I'll rate this a five out of ten, a nine out of ten, and a seven out of ten. Oh, you're so American. Yes. I'm American, guys. You're right. <laughs> the, the light pizza stuff, it doesn't work. I need, I need full flavor. Cool. Oh, no. Mm. Uh, that's <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to try? Yeah, I will resist for the moment. I will not look it. <laughs> so, Miguel, he's resisting it, so I'm going to eat all this by myself. So, thanks, guys.